the Wilford movement determined to overcome all obstacles. Come on, get out of here right now. All right, there's a few of you here. Sell out a little bit. Three, two, one, go. Most people would ask what's the difference between the Wilford movement and say any other organization or program that's out there. Um, you know, from a from a physical standpoint and from a workout standpoint, I think you can do just about anything. I think what makes a difference is there's a level of, of, of sacrifice that I've given in my life that applies towards how I present to people. It really does identify with who I am as a person and kind of how I persevere and overcome um, a lot of different obstacles through coaches and people I've worked for. You know, I am an athlete. I speak as an athlete. I work as an athlete. Um, I've struggled as an athlete. I've had successes as an athlete. So I do have an understanding of what it means to work. I also know I have an understanding what it means to struggle, what it means to fail, what it means to succeed, and to really find a healthy balance. You came here for a reason, but why did you come here? What was your reason for coming here? To think you were going to win a national title? And some of y'all don't realize what you're capable of doing. Some of y'all, it takes a little bit just to get out of bed. Show up, get to class, get down here, put in the work. Why are you here? What drives you? Brand became that. Widener's brand in lacrosse, the longest time has been, we win MAC titles. MAC titles. We haven't made it to the tournament. We haven't beaten Salisbury. We haven't beaten Stevenson. We've come close. We've come close, but we haven't done it. And until you do it, you can't say a word except look in your heart and find out where your effort is at. If you hear me say I. I. Now really, the best part about this is that I offer you a perspective that maybe you wouldn't be thinking about. You know, so when I thought about Princeton, right, when I came in here, I was like, man, Ivy League. You know what I mean? Representing a little bit. You know what I mean? And, and you, you represent something that is bigger than you probably even know. Uh, so I think when I think about Princeton, I think about the Jesse Hubbards, the John Hesses, the Chris Masses, you know what I mean? The Damian Davises, the Ryan Boyles, you know, raise your hand if you know them names. All right, so part of what you need to understand is that you represent a crazy tradition. All right, so the one thing I looked up when I, before I came here, I said, <laughs> you know, can somebody give me an idea of what your record was last year? What was it? If you can, just raise your hand if you were on that team or on that field when you lost that game against Yale. Raise your hand up high. And keep it up there. You got to think about what you actually felt that day. Pain is temporary. It may last a minute, an hour, a day, or even a year. But eventually it will subside. Part of your success is you got to believe in the possibility that something can happen. If you decide and you believe that you want to win a national championship, it's already done. If you hear me, say ah. If you believe it, say ah. The one thing you need to know is that dreams, we all have dreams, you have to make them a reality. The idea of success, part of it is just showing up every day. I can tell you right now, if you have a vision for something greater than what people expect, that's dangerous, man. And when you realize that, when you realize you have an asset in life, and you realize you're capable of doing something that nobody else can do, woo! I'm going to tell you right now, that's a dangerous man. But I swear you, if you look to your left and look to your right, those are brothers that are going to make it happen. These are the guys. Look to your left, look to your right. These are the cats that are going to make it happen for you. When I go to teams and I, I, I talk to them, I talk about success all the time. And, and the way that I define it uh, is really based off of where they're at to receive it. I think a lot of times success is defined by championships and by MVPs and All-Americans and, and, and specifically something concrete as opposed to just the idea of getting better and striving from your goals day to day. Success is defined by more than just what you see or what you write down or how it actually becomes something that is that is set in stone, but more or less how you live your life every day. The, the idea of challenging yourself is one thing. The idea of understanding who you are to accept that challenge is something completely different.
And I do believe that the Wilford movement really addresses all of these issues. You know, I, I will address any team out there. There's not one person out there that doesn't want their, their story identified and to figure out how they're going to be successful for the next day. And that's what the Wilford movement does. Create havoc. As a unit, you create your dreams become reality. Who are you? Ducks. Who are you? Ducks. You represent Steven Tech Ducks. All right? This crazy campaign. An opportunity to live. An opportunity to actually do right by yourself all the time. One, two, three. Ducks. Ducks.